has taken action that may endanger us all. She sent a message to Erebus. She invoked a ritual from the old crews, words with empty hands. It is a type of parley where no violence is permitted. Ido believes Erebus will follow the rules of her people. I am not so trusting. Should Erebus accept, I would ask that you accompany us. In the meantime, continue the fight. This may be a ploy, and we must not be fooled. I hope that she ignores Ido's request, but if she does not, know this. Erebus does nothing that is not to her benefit. A word can do more damage than a blade, and Erebus is skilled at wielding both. Do so. 
You face an Elixni who has amassed a great many followers. They are willing to throw their lives away for his protection. But I do not know if it is out of loyalty or fear. His name is Arask. Be careful. You taught me to honor Elixni tradition. Aramis Skell agreed to parlay. You cannot lose faith in the old ways now. This is a mistake, my doll. Aramis listens to one voice only, and it is not ours. I may draw power from the voice in the darkness. But I am an Elixni Kell, and I fight for the liberation of our people. True Kel serves their house. You serve only the witness. And who do you serve? I agreed to meet with Elixni, not a light bearer. The Guardian is here for your protection. Aramis Kel, as scribe of House of Light, I feel compelled to tell you. There is another force searching for these relics. I see. And who are these new meddlers, exactly? One of many you have wronged, perhaps. We did not identify the Force, but they dispatched your... associates with ease. We have in them a common enemy. We have always had a common enemy. Abandon your pathetic attempts to appease your oppressors. Join me. Together, we'll use these relics to achieve true freedom for the Elixni. No. The relics pose too great a threat. They cannot fall to warmongers like you. None know of the destructive power better than you, Mizrax. What do you mean? It was centuries ago. No longer that person. No. You are the same as ever. I want to know the truth. Will I have to hear it from her?
Centuries ago, when the Elixni first came to this system, when your father was just a hatchling, our people had nothing. So, when they discovered Nezarek, disciple of the Witness, entombed in the Lunar Pyramid, they harvested its dark power for themselves and for the future of our people. Mizrax inherited one of these relics, and its power ensnared him. He sought more, no matter the cost. But the more his crew had, the less they shared. That became the way of things. Elixni turned against Elixni, and friend turned against friend. Over time, the relics of Nezarek were separated and scattered across the galaxy. Their influence faded, but the stains of their power endure. Mizrax fled from the butchery he was born into. He claims he has changed and now lives a life of piety. But no matter how he tries to bury his past with selfish displays of generosity and scraps of stolen wisdom, Mizrax will always be a liar, a thief, and a killer. Mizrak Skell of House Light. My father, a murderer, and a liar. Learning the truth is difficult, but the sharpest pain comes from the fact that he didn't tell me earlier. I was aware he had a past, but in a way, Aramis Skell showed me who my father is today he sees when he looks at me. He must think I am unable to understand, or he doesn't care whether or not I do. I am either underestimated or dismissed. And I could take only one lesson from this. My own father does not want me to know him. Our priorities have not changed. We must stop Aramis from claiming the relics of Nezarek. I will not place my own feelings above our mission. I will not become the hypocrite that my father is. Let's make a deal.
Your glimmer is always welcome here. 